Welcome back guys. It's another fake skin tattoo practice session with Ya yeah Boy. Today we're doing a little itsy bitsy spider web as you can see. So first things first you always got to put that stencil, stencil stuff on and pat her down to make sure that print is on there and I went over this before uh, on my flash. Yeah, <laughs> a little too much ink. Uh, you know, obviously I was still able to clutch out the tattoo. Here's the needle I'm using. It kind of wasn't uh, in focus there, but it was a, from Mast, it was a, I think 1207 round liner, I believe. So that's what I'll be using today. But as I was saying with my flash, yeah, too much black ink transfers on there. That's where you see all that blue stuff. Kind of, you know, distracts you from what the actual design is, where the lines are, but I, like I said, I drew the spider web so I knew where I was going, so it worked out. But next time, definitely when I print my next sheet, I know not to do as much black. But yeah, here we go. Just pulling my lines, starting from the top, going all the way to the bottom because I just think those were probably the main like structural points of this tattoo. That's how I went about it. You know, obviously pulling, oh, see there. Oh man, that's, that hurts. My fake skin got all lifted up. It was such a good line. I think I clutched it out, but it was such a good line. I just wish it didn't get you know, fold it up like that. But yeah, like I said, I'm just trying to go in here, pull some nice clean lines. There you can see I'm kind of like analyzing where I'm gonna go. And yeah, I'll let you guys watch this. Watch me pull these lines through and then we'll move on to the shading. And uh, if you guys like the background music, it was made by my boy Lucas. I'm gonna include his Instagram in the bio, hit him up for all the beats you need. Look how she came out. I thought those lines were pretty good. I was a little hyped, you know? The lines came out good, nice and strong. I think it definitely helps uh, practicing pulling the lines. And then that one, you can see the 1009RM. I think those are for shading, I'm not gonna lie. I am not an expert in any way. I'm just trying to tattoo, obviously on fake skin and sometimes myself, I won't lie. But from what I could tell, all the needles in there make it much easier to cover more area. So that's why I believe it's for shading. And yeah, we're just getting right into it. Obviously trying to practice going from dark to light, getting my gradient skills on point. And yeah, shading is definitely more complicated. There's more techniques to do it. I tried to replicate some whip shading of some tutorials I found online. And it's definitely easier. Um, it's definitely like, it looks easier than, it actually, than you could actually do it. I forget the term right now. Easier said than done. That's what it is. Wow, you guys just you guys just witnessed me thinking about that term and figuring it out. That was a whole what like five seconds of just blank thinking. <laughs> but yeah, you guys can see I'm gonna just keep going on with the shading and we'll see the final product at the end.
gloves off and here it is bang what do you guys think uh i don't think it's my best tattoo that i've done but honestly once i zoomed out like this you know you can see less of the imperfections and i thought it looked pretty decent definitely got to work on my shading i think the bl the dark to gray is uh needs some work i definitely need to concentrate my black ink more because even when i thought i was going really hard it still came out pretty gray so need to work on that and the gradual uh you know shade to light but i hope you guys liked it and i'll see y'all in the next one peace